10 Best Places to Visit in Burkina Faso Hello Displorers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Displorer and thanks for watching. In this video we shall travel to West Africa to discover the 10 best places to visit in Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is a landlord country in West Africa, sitting on a total area of around 274,200 square kilometers with a population of about 22 million people. This beautiful nation is bordered by Mali to the northwest, Niger to the northeast, Benin to the southeast, Togo and Ghana to the south, and the Ivory Coast to the southwest. The French country is sometimes coined as a poorest nation that is located in Africa, but Burkina Faso is rich in terms of natural beauty and amazing views. There are spectacular landmarks in this region and the culture of the people and the region are so hospitable and kind to visitors. Packed with various national parks, Burkina Faso, who holds some of the rarest species of flora and fauna, as well as being rich in music, art and wealthy cultural heritage. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. With a variety to choose from, here are the 10 best places to visit in Burkina Faso. Number 10. Nazinga Reserve Established in 1979 by Canadian brothers Robert and Clark Lundgren, it is located not far from the Ghanaian border. The Nazinga Game Reserve covers an expanse of around 97,000 hectares, packed with wildlife. The brothers who grew up in the country after years of observing the devastating impact of cyclical drought on domesticated livestock, as well as the effects of poor resource management such as deforestation, overgrazing, burning, soil fatigue, Clark believed that the key to saving the Afghan people from famine and its wildlife from extinction was found in resource development. He set out to prove that when human prosperity can be generated through sustainable management of its natural resources, both people and environment will win. Though the elephants here steal the show, the bird life and crocodiles are also popular. The best time to see the reserve's elephants is between the months of December to April. There are also various accommodation options in the reserve, including the impressive Nazinga Ranch, which occupies prime real estate by the reserve's most lively watering hole, giving visitors the best experience in the country. Number 9. Sindo Sindo is a town located in the province of Liraba in Burkina Faso, known as the Peaks de Sindo, a sharp sandstone geological formation. The town is a point of departure for visits to Mount Tenakuru, the highest peak in Burkina Faso, which makes it a plus to visitors. The rugged and sharp peaks located in Sindo makes the place such a beauty to watch, but besides those, the very lively and calm nature of this place makes it a great site for a picnic or tourist who just enjoys serenity. Visit them at sunset and take memorable photographs which are just out of this world and unique only to Sindo. Along the way, the village of Wolokonto is also popular with travelers for its beautiful granaries and traditional animist life. Number 8. Tiebeli Tiebeli is a department or commune of Nahuri province in southeastern Burkina Faso where the chief, the royal court and the nobility of the Kasina people who first settled the region in the 15th century resided. This is one of the places where you can say poverty turned into one of the best places to visit in the city. Due to the poverty that surrounds this area, their houses are made up of mostly traditional mud herds and touch which has made a small village to become a tourist center in Burkina Faso. The houses are designed in a systematic and unique way with unique colors and drawings which are a tourist magnet. When going here, bring a camera along as the shots from this place are almost exquisite to look at. Number 7. Gorom 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 is a town in northern Burkina Faso whose name translates as you sit down or will sit down. Reminiscent of this road is an important crossroad in the Sahel. Known for its market and many mosques, it attracts large numbers of Tuaregs, Bela, Fula and other traders every week. The market in Gorom Gorom is very impressive and people from various parts of the world come to this market to see their wares and goods. Thinking of leaving Burkina Faso with some of the finest goods, crafted jewelry or leather bags, this market sells the most unique goods. Number 6. W National Park The W National Park is a major national park in West Africa around Amienda in the river Niger shaped like the letter W. The park includes areas of the three countries, Niger, Benin and Burkina Faso, and is governed by the three governments which operate under the name W Transporter Park. The national park has hundreds of plant species, including two orchids found only in Niger. The park provides a home for some of West Africa's last wild African elephants and also other large mammals like the aardvark, baboon, the African buffalo, caracal, cheetah, African bush elephant, hippopotamus, African leopard, West African lion, sevo and warthog. However, the rare West African giraffe, today restricted to small parts of the Niger, is absent from the park. The W National Park is also known for historic occurrences of the parks of the endangered West African wild dog and a large number of migratory birds who come here every year from different places. 
The remains of early Neolithic settlers are present in the park and trekking tours too. Number 5. The Ruins of Loropeni The ruins of Loropeni are an ancient heritage site near the town of Loropeni in southern Burkina Faso which were added to the UNESCO World Heritage Sites list in 2009. These ruins are the country's first World Heritage Site spanning 11,130 meters square, which includes an array of stone walls that comprise an ancient fortress, the best preserved of 10 in the area. The ruins which date back at least a thousand years was occupied by the Long Throne or Kulango people and prospered from the Trans-Saharan gold trade, reaching its height between the 14th and 17th centuries AD. Though abandoned in the early 19th century, the stone remains in the place are just amazing and fascinating to watch all the time. But if stone watching is not your cup of tea, then you can probably love the sacred trees and museums located in Gawa, which is just nearby. Number 4. Arli National Park Arli National Park, often called Arli, is a national park located in Tapua Province, southeastern Burkina Faso. The park which adjoins Benin's Benjari National Park in the south and a single reserve in the west is packed with a wide variety of habitants, ranging from the gallery forests of the Arli and Benjari rivers to the savannah woodland and sandstone hills of the Gobnangu chain. It is home to around 200 African elephants, 200 hippos and 100 lions as well as numerous buffaloes, baboons, red and green monkeys, white hawks and various antelopes such as the western hatter beast and roan antelope. There are also bush box, duikers and waterbuck. The park has several pools with the twanga where there is a water hole being one of the most favorite animals watching sports as up to 20 hippos visit it at a time. The rare African wild dog is a treat to watch in this park. Number 3. Ouagadougou When it comes to communication, administration and the main strata of Burkina Faso, Ouagadougou is the pivot of it all. It is also the country's largest city with its primary industries based in food processing and textiles. It is served by an international airport and is linked by rail to Abidjan in the Ivory Coast and four freight only to Kaya. Ouagadougou has one of the West Africa's largest markets which burned down in 2003 and has since reopened with better facilities and improved fire prevention measures. Other attractions include the National Museum of Burkina Faso, the Moro Naba Palace, the National Museum of Music and several craft markets. Despite the city's hot climate, it draws in tourists from around the world who are rushing in the experience which is Ouagadougou. Number 2. Bobo Gelasso Bobo Gelasso is a city in Burkina Faso which is the second largest city in the country after Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso's capital. Its name means home of the Bobo Jula and is one of the most ethnically complex cities in the country. Even though it is a major economic city, it is mostly known for its culture, music, art and ethnic diversity which is why the best nightlife in Burkina Faso can be experienced here. With nightclubs and restaurants streaming in with people, Bobo is a place which is famous for live music and performances. Despite its size, the city has a laid back and exclusive feel which makes it a favorite resting spot for travelers from all backgrounds and with all budgets. The local music on offer in various clubs and bars attracts the residents of the city as well as tourists from Europe and the States. Number 1. Lake Tengrela This small lake located near Banfora in Burkina Faso is one of the biggest attractions in the country known for its hippopotamuses. Locals believe that these hippopotamuses do not attack humans because they are sacred hippopotamuses. Crocodiles are almost never seen in this 2 km long and 1.5 km wide lake. This very beautiful tourist spot makes an even more amazing destination. The animals found here are quite rare and the serene nature of the area. Local fishermen come here to cast their nets to get good number of fish. You can ride on a pirogue to enjoy the view of the lake or just dive in and swim among hundreds of water flowers beneath the best atmospheric temperatures. There is a good chance of seeing hippos all around and tours of the park are safe and usually reasonably priced. So hey, pack those bags and we shall meet in Burkina Faso for the time of our lives. There you have it explorers, those were the 10 best places to visit in Burkina Faso. Thanks for watching this video and if you did enjoy this video, do what to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.